get started here. Um, hey, everyone. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to come to our webinar series. Um, these are going to be a continuation series of the other webinars that we've done previously talking about kind of just the solar industry and what's happening out there. Uh, today, I am joined by uh, Mike Mattioli. He is the head of marketing and business development, as well as uh, install relations here at Arco360. And we have uh, Arif with us as well. He is a sales manager for ARCA and I myself, I'm Joe Tanner. I'm the head of US sales here for ARCA 360. Um, so today what we want to talk about is kind of a, an interesting challenge that the industry is facing and that is kind of how are we getting our designs and what are the next steps after we get designs, which is, you know, permitting stamps, structural and electrical and those next steps. Um, and so we took polls uh, previously kind of to gather questions and to hear pain points from our um, our industry friends out there. And we'll touch base on those questions. But, you know, first and foremost, with the, you know, jumping, just jumping right into it, um, Mike, being out there and talking to these people every day and kind of having your pulse on the industry, what are some tools and tricks that installers are using to actually scale their business? How are, how are they growing in, um, you know, to current times? I think that the uh, one of the things that we're seeing as the business uh, has grown is that because there's such a diversity amongst the AHJs and the uh, uh, the folks that are managing permits and so forth at the whether it's at the city level or state level, um, the biggest issue that solar installers are facing is a how to keep up with that. Uh, and B, um, what do they use now to do presentations to consumers if they are, in fact, doing uh, sales, uh, whether it be door-to-door -door or in, in home across the kitchen table? And one of the things that we've been working on here in-house is to how to improve those interfaces uh, for our solar installers been managing design and permitting and um, getting everything ready so they can go to permit um, and i think that that's one of the things that's very unique about arca uh, 360 is that all the things that we're doing to it at the moment in order to improve it and shorten the time frame because time is the biggest killer in the business right now it just sucks up so much energy and yeah, time uh, is the deal killer yeah let's i i think those are the things we should probably start talking about a little bit uh so our folks out there in the audience can hear the things that we're doing to improve their lifestyle on those issues and then uh take some q a at the end in reference to maybe things that we didn't touch on that allow them to uh, hear how we can actually help them make their businesses better. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And that's, that's what we'll, Oh, sorry. Go ahead, Arif. Yeah. I just wanted to add like um, to the point wherein like, you know, we are talking about the challenges faced by the customers, like, you know, um, with the permit sets right now. So there are some installers who are managing everything on their own. Okay. So I met a customer last week. Um, who was doing the permit sets on his own and he is spending entire day to make like you know one permit set but uh, end of the day it was getting rejected so he was trying to save some penny uh, but like you know there's a saying like uh, penny wise dollar foolish so it was some sort of thing like that um, so it's better to have someone doing it outsourced uh, rather like you know doing it yourself and wasting your entire day that could be more productive and when you can like you know uh, do more of the other productive activities uh, of your organization yeah. And I think, I think Mike and Reeve kind of both touched on the same point as like, where do you spend your time and how do you spend um, your money trying to get these things through? So one thing that Mike touched on that I think is really interesting is that, you know, there's so many HJs out there for different counties, different states, different areas. Um, Mike and Arif, maybe you guys can both touch on how are people who maybe don't have a software um, who don't, who don't have a software that doesn't have all of those um, all of those different counties and stuff set up in there. How can, what are they doing right now? Like, are they just going to the different areas and asking what they're using or how, 
how are they doing it if they don't have a tool that manages all that for them? Uh, well, a lot of them that I talk to are going through a trial and error process and mm -hmm. or they're using local folks to help them get through these hurdles. You know, they're using a local architect or they're using a local permitting company that would help them get their documents in order so that they can move to construction. And that's, in our opinion, A, very expensive, and B, fairly inefficient because many of those folks that they're talking to don't work with solar on a day-to-day -day basis. I mean, we see mm -hmm. hundreds of applications inside of our software program a day. And we have literally thousands of requirements and understanding as to what the AHJs need in order to be compliant. So instead of going through a trial and error where you fill out your form, send it in, pay your money, it gets rejected because it's missing this, that, and the other thing, uh, by using a software program like ours, you get it done right the first time. And you also get it done right at, at, at probably the lowest cost possible. So you can spend your time doing something else, which is writing more sales or doing installations, what have you. I, I think those are the key things that uh, dealers are looking for. Is how do I make my system more efficient and how do I make it improve time? time for sale to time to construction time to close yeah and uh and arif what what challenges are you noticing that these uh installers are having when they outsource these services to as mike was saying local people or trial and error you know maybe they work with a company who will do permitting but they maybe don't have the correct knowledge or the correct database like are you seeing any issues with them uh trying to do those right so um yeah, entirely. I agree with that. Um, so the first point would be like, you know, whether they are specialized, like, you know, enterprise was doing that uh, sort of thing. Uh, basically, they hold that expertise to work on the permit sets focusingly. And uh, then we have like, you know, what talent do they hire? So do they have access to multiple regions all across geographies to get like, you know, the best talent to get the job done? And what kind of like, you know, um, qualifications, qualifications they hold uh, and what like, you know, knowledge they have in general? about the solar industry. These are like, you know, some basic things uh, that, that is not like, you know, getting in the general uh, standard market uh, from the outsourcing. We also have like, you know, seen um, sort of delays in the projects, like, you know, delivery, uh, which is causing a lot of problem wherein the customer cannot really track uh, the orders that he has placed or number of permits that he has ordered to one, one particular organization because there is no tracking or, or like, you know, tool right now. So these are a couple of uh, like you know challenges that I've been spoken about uh, with my uh, customers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so we've talked about permitting, and you know obviously permitting is very important, but permitting is like step two. What about design? What about these companies out there who are um, outsourcing their design to I don't know, just random companies out in the world or companies who claim to have an AI tool that can accurately depict their system. But I know in my experience, I've been at the kitchen table with homeowners and I request a design and it comes back and it's not on the right house or it's the panels are north facing or, you know, the homeowner wants to change something. So with a design tool like Arco 360s that we have, I know that our t it's an actual team. It's an actual human being who is certified in design, who knows what design looks like, who knows what looks good on a house. How important is it for the permitting process to get a design tool that's that's accurate, that has a real life person behind it who the sales rep or the uh, HJ or the admin team at the installer can actually reach out and point to and say, hey, I need help on this. This needs to be fixed. Um, right. So the first thing um, I, that comes into my mind is like, you know, asking and collecting the right information from the installers about mm -hmm. uh, like, you know, uh, the project that they're working on. And um, if any of the like you know information is missing, um, getting those information back as soon as possible so that we can deliver the um, uh, the permits on time, right? But uh, in standard like you know market as we are talking about, uh, it's a big of a challenge, right? So you don't have a, like uh, forms 
like you know which is organized in a in a way which is like you know collecting the information and providing it to the uh, directly to the uh, services team um mm -hmm. whoever it is no matter like you know arc or any of the organization right who is doing the services job right now but uh, if they don't have the right information they there would be a lot of rework which is required and the customer has to pay the additional cost for it um yeah. and the organization is not going to bear that cost right uh, who are doing yeah. the outso uh, format sets yeah and how much of a pain is it for reworking <laughs> um pain is like <laughs> really a lot uh, because if there is any information which is missed uh, it would uh, again take like you know an hour of job or maybe like you know 3 hours of job depending upon the project that or project size yeah i mean i i can think of countless times that you know and you know mike can attest to this is sitting at the kitchen table with the homeowner and having to say the awkward words uh hey can i come back my system's not working or you know hey this design just isn't right can i come back like that just kills a deal like you just shot that deal in the head um so i mean what are what are comp how, mike you're out there talking to people how are people combating it with their designs if their design tool or their design team that they're working with doesn't get it like i think that's the most important thing like having a team that gets it you you know we've come a long ways we're not a nation a nation uh, a nascent industry anymore we're not small we're very big many people have been bombarded by lots of folks that said they can design and build solar systems for them or they can get it on their house for x amount of money or y amount of money i think there's always a wariness inside of the mind of the consumer when they hear those types of things one of the one of the things that we've seen for those folks that have started to use our software as compared to whatever software they were using in the past is that it adds a level of competency to them sitting across the table and literally in a matter of minutes designing and putting the array on the house in 3D, showing the shading, giving them a very accurate understanding of how much power it's going to produce not some pie in the sky number that it may or may not ever do, or maybe only one time in its life cycle, but being realistic and, and giving a customer a confidence level. Listen, this is this this is the most important investment in most people's uh minds. They spend their home is number one. Their cars are typically number two, and to spend their pets money, are number three. <laughs> yeah, well, there yeah. could be other golf is number four for dad, you know. Yeah, uh, but the sooner uh, the, what we found is that the sooner this you this tool was used in the actual presentation, uh, we had tremendous success. And, and are still having that success and getting the customer to go from do I buy solar or not buy solar to I want solar and you, you, you've you given them the confidence level that you're the guy they want to buy with. Mm -hmm. And in many instances, it's not the lowest price because the confidence level guys sometimes don't you know, don't cover that. They want they want to make sure that all the issues have been covered and that they got all their answers, questions answered. And many times that allows for the dealer to sell at a slightly higher profit margin. Yeah. So piggybacking off what you said, because I think that's super important, is that people are trusting the sales rep and people are, this is a big investment for them. Like you said, you know, Sometimes systems can range you go up to fifty thousand dollars, especially now if you need a battery. So it's a big, it's a big investment. And Arif, what are you seeing inside that Arca three hundred and sixty services that are standing out against maybe other softwares out there in a term of accuracy, efficiency, customer satisfaction? Do you have any examples of uh, installers using our tool currently that are saying, "Hey, I compared yours to another tool, and not only was it quicker, but it was a lot easier to use," or you know, something like that showcasing just how much time we take into each and every one of these uh these these projects. 
Um, yeah, so uh, like, you know, covering up entirely um, the Arca 360 platform, right? So uh, we not only come with um, only order services, we have like, you know, standalone uh, software that comes with like, you know, that you can design yourself as well. But uh, here, since you're talking about um, order services, we have dedicated team, okay, uh, sitting in different geographies and uh, providing you the, like, you know, the best proposal that can be delivered to you within a day, if it's design proposal. And uh, we can also deliver the same proposal within 30 minutes if you want, okay? We have mm -hmm. the two options there. Um, coming to the permits, so we have permits that can be delivered to you within two days, okay? That is 48 hours. And uh, then we have uh, e-stampings that could be delivered, delivered to you within five days. So five to seven days is roughly, like, you know, that we are uh, looking at. But sometime we can also, like, you know, deliver it before that. Yeah. So this is there. And... Uh, Covering the second part of it, okay, what uh, what extra does, like, you know, the um, installers get here? Uh, they get the uh, opportunity to, like, you know, track all their orders, okay, first thing. Um, the same way, um, whenever they are submitting their, um, like, you know, information to the uh, design services team, uh, they don't really start working on it immediately, but first they have a team that inspects, uh, like, you know, all the information provided and uh, it is like you know reviewed properly and once it is accepted from there the time starts like you know ticking um if there is any like you know missing pieces of it then the, the response like you know the reviewing team would be reaching out to the installer and asking for that particular information so that the team can begin the uh like you know design so um working on the permits the yeah. second part and uh thirdly um the order services team uh, would be like, you know, that we are also having this thing wherein they can communicate with the order services team over the email as well, or like, you know, we are also building a platform uh, within the software that would help uh, uh, the design services team and installers to chat if there is anything for on quick basis. So it's yet in the plan, but not yet, like, you know, launched. And how, how important is it in terms of accuracy um... Especially because I mean, there's tons. I mean, there's tons of softwares out there, and they're all kind of doing similar things. How important is it that you're hearing from customers that it's not just some AI bot in the middle of you know Timbuktu that's someone's kind of looking at and watching, but it's actually a human being. I mean, we've we talk to these people, we know these right. people. I'm in a group chat with three of them. Like they're actually human beings doing these designs. How important is it to you in regards to accuracy? That there's oh. a human behind it doing it. Sorry, Mike, you wanted something to say? I, I was just going to say, look, there's been a change in the industry. We've gone from, you know, name two to name three. And every single day I have somebody call me on the phone, one of my previous clients, and go, I don't understand this name three. How is it going to interface? You know, what's the best way and what's... What's the most efficient battery package I could put on to that? You know, it's been really interesting to watch ARCA go through the process of developing not only software that can do those analytical things, simply just by putting in some very simple questions. And then it gives a concise answer to the consumer but more importantly, it also gives a confidence level to the salespeople and to the organization that's using it. You know, mm -hmm. so if you're a dealer and your installers are having to try to explain that to a customer, you know, why why would I add more solar or how do I add battery to my existing solar system? And you know for a fact that your solar modeling tool that you have right now is not doing that, you know, you're standing in front of a void that is huge. And here, instead of having to completely scrap everything, start over, you know, ARCA can come in and, and use just services that we have, and we can help you design what is the most efficient system to interface to the existing system that the homeowner has, or ground zero they have no solar and they have to work underneath these new guidelines and design a system that will get them the biggest bang for the buck and make them feel confident that they bought the right size batteries 
in the right size system for what they want to try to accomplish in their house. Yeah. So um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to I'm going to send a poll out to the team. So we're going to have a poll go out to our uh, attendees. And um, the question that we're going to place is, what is the biggest challenge you have faced or anticipate facing with outsourcing? Um, that's a topic, you know, that everyone's going to be talking about right now. So we're going to we're going to put that up and, um, you know, give you guys a couple times to think about it. And then uh, we'll talk about it when we get the answers. Oh, you're not going to let me vote. I just like that. That's funny. No, you can't yeah. vote. We know what your problem is. <laughs> yes, that's always true. <laughs> starting to see any of those things flow in yet yeah so okay awesome thanks everyone for voting uh we're gonna get the the poll numbers right now all right, all right. okay so it looks like that we got a some of the above um that we have what is the primary reason you know outsourcing access to specialized experience and then what projects do you guys currently outsource? We have um, solar design, permitting, stamping, none of the above. And then permitting and stamping both got um, the most votes. So let's let's talk about that on the bottom here. Why is the primary reason that you guys do that? And one of them said um, uh, permitting and stamping and then flexibility and accessibility. So Mike, kind of jumping off of those, what do you... What do you think about when people say like, oh, yeah, I outsource all my permitting and design? How important is it to you, as you were talking about earlier, that trial and error, that just seems tiring and cumbersome. How important is it out there to these installers who can have one source of truth, can have you know, a software tool that has all these features that they can kind of set it and let it go? I, what I found is that usually those things are two different entities. You got an architect or somebody, an electrical engineer that's doing the design work, and then you got somebody else that's doing the wet stamping for structural and uh, the other uh, requirements in order to get a building permit. It's, you know, they're, they're two separate entities working in two separate houses. The A, that uh, costs a lot of money. B, it takes a lot of time and see if there's an issue in getting a permit, you know, sometimes you get one guy pointing at the other guy and saying, it's his fault, not my fault. Bringing all of those things in house, like what ARCA does and having all of them working under the same roof and more importantly, doing literally hundreds of applications and permitting documents and designs daily makes a huge difference. You know, we have reliability, you know, ARCA has reliability in some of the larger uh, uh, master service agreement, MSAs, areas of service, you know, like in a San Diego area, for example, when our documents show up at the uh, city planning office, they've seen them before. They know this company and they go, oh, yeah, these guys always get it right uh, because the software is, is good and they have great support teams that work inside the organization. That's invaluable. You know, it's just it, it it's so it's so worthwhile to do that. And what's even more important is that we do it at a price point that's lower than if you went out and tried to get it done yourself. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think that's one of the things that's really key when you get into a one-on-one -on -one presentation with the ARCA folks and they take you through the tool and they show you all the things that it can do and you see the value and you start to compare it against what it's costing you in time and what it's costing you in money. 
you all of a sudden realize that this is a much greater a way to spend those two elements inside your organization. Yeah, absolutely. So getting it streamlined, getting every, having having the right people or as our, our, our uh, one of our bosses say, having the correct throat to choke. So it's not people pointing fingers. It's, you know, you can directly see who it is. Um, Arif, what what tools does Arca 360 have that you're that you're showcasing that show uh, that streamline the process of solar design and then straight into permitting for installers? So it's not, you know, OK, I have all this stuff here. Now I got to take it to this software. But oh, wait, I forgot about this. And, you know, how do we streamline that process inside of our tool? Yeah. So um, just like, you know, giving a quick overview to the attendees here, since uh, they might be very, they might be very familiar to what they're doing right now, would be like, you know, using multiple softwares to uh, do multiple jobs. That would be CRM. Uh, that would be like, you know, maybe some free software to make their proposals right now, which is like, you know, limiting them to provide uh, like, you know, extraordinary um, proposals to their customer or experience to their customer. And uh, then like, you know, managing the other vendors that is like, you know, the raw uh, materials, of, like, you know, uh, modules, inverters and getting those things, procurement of uh, raw materials. Then we have uh, like, you know, the permit sets, right? And uh, one of the most important thing here, what we are doing is in the Arca 360, since like, you know, we have this uh, 360 in front of our name is that we are trying to uh, cover each and every aspect of uh, solar installers pain and we want to get it very streamlined so in our platform we have crm right now we have design studio we have proposal making tool battery only proposals we have order services directly from the same platform which has like you know um, a form which is like you know curated by our design services team themselves there are mandatory uh of like you know fields that you're supposed to fill without that you'll not be able to proceed further so there is very less chances of uh, missing out any uh, like you know pieces of that particular information about that particular project so we make sure that each and every information is provided and after that we get like you know it gets to the a couple of teams there uh, who does the job of reviewing it and then it is handed over to the design services team to actually do the job uh, once the job is completed then it is gone through like you know a couple of checks and finally it is delivered to the customer so this is how we are doing it and for the customer who are ordering services they can actually track what is the status is it in the pending uh, like, like you know pending uh, column or is it in like you know a completed column or is it like you know ask for any information any of the column which is there like you know mentioned in the software it would be showing in that particular um, way so yeah, this is how we are streamlining it and uh, it is helping a lot of customers. So we have like, you know, a bunch of customers we are using in regularly ordering our services. And I can just give a couple of names here. Um, Eco Design and uh, Rice Power and Honeybee Solar are like, you know, few of the companies that we have are like, you know, they're sending uh, orders like crazy. Like, you know, they're giving us crazy orders and they're really happy with the services that we're providing. Yeah, absolutely. And um, so you kind of mentioned a lot of steps there as you're going through that process. Is that all inside Arca 360 or do they have to pull different software as they have to go through other third parties or is it all just at one place? It's all in one. It's so you all don't have in one place. On yes, you don't have to go on multiple uh, platforms to get your job done. Okay. Just awesome. use one platform. You can uh, track your sales rep representatives like, you know, day-to-day uh, -day tasks, how many leads he has added, how many, um, like, you know, deals he has closed. So you get that widgets options as well, wherein you can actually see how's your monthly sales doing, right? How's your team, mm -hmm. team performing? So you get a lot of things on a single platform. You don't have to rely upon multiple platforms. Nice. And and Mike, he, hearing what um, Arif was just going, going about what he's saying, how does that workflow improve turnaround times and reduce costs for these EPCs that are maybe spending, you know, money on a contract with a third party, then they have to pay for the permit, then they have to pay for the revision? How does how would that streamline for their team? I think the biggest complaint that I hear all the time uh, with people using products other than ours is that stuff's changed. For example, maybe the setback on the roof is now changed, or maybe a perfect example is what just happened in Florida. Florida actually has changed their wind loads. Now, 
we're talking about the state of Florida changing their wind loads. And the state, A, is not small. It's quite large. And the wind loads are all done by local areas and by weather information. So if you ever look at a weather bar information on wind loads for Florida, there's about 50 of them, maybe even more. Um, and they've all changed. And now all of a sudden, some of those zones and some of those agencies, those places to go and get a permit, are still using the old ones. Some of them are now using the new ones. And then they've also required different uh, different, different wet stamping on them. You got to hire somebody full-time just to do all that stuff. And that's what ARC has done is that as those things change, they're changed in our tool daily. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Anything that's going on and there's a there's a change that happens, you know, we we are tracking all that stuff on a daily basis and then upgrading the tool. There's a battery of people. You know, it isn't like there's two guys that are working on this this software. There's an entire team that works literally 24 hours a day between the U.S. and uh, offshore that keep the tool operating and in compliance with what's going on in, in the business place. So that peace of mind just by itself is a huge savings. And uh, I, I think that when we show consumers that con when I say a consumer, a dealer who's going to be using this tool, those savings that they will have by getting those things right the first time and in the shortest period of time, uh, those values are tremendous in comparison to what they were spending before. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. So it looks like that ARCA 360 streamlines this arduous process makes it easier for sales reps and makes it easier for EPCs and for homeowners to get the solar installed. And it reduces stress, it, loses, it reduces time, and it reduces cost. So I think I think um, after this call, those everyone who was a little bit hesitant on outsourcing their work maybe might have a different, uh, different mindset and might look to ARCA 360 as that streamline. So that's what exactly what we're going to do. We're going to open a poll right now. We're going to take another 30 seconds to do it. Um, the question that we're going to open to you guys is how interested are you in exploring outsourcing for your solar projects after hearing all of these, uh, this information from our webinar? So take your time, answer these questions, and then uh, we'll, we'll discuss there and uh, go on to the next steps. Go on to a Q&A after. You can't vote on this one either, Mike. Oh, uh, I know you already locked me out. No fun for me. No fun. All right, so the poll is closed. We're just waiting for the numbers. All right, cool. So it looks like that we got some people who are very interested. Um, majority of the people are kind of interested in it. And then, uh, yeah. oh, we got a couple of people who are already outsourcing. So um, yeah, perfect. Yeah, so that was kind of the, the whole point of this webinar. Um, Arif, would you want to talk to those people who are maybe kind of on the fence and, you know, any reassurances or any, um, you know, any training or anything else you want to say about why outsourcing would really be effective instead of doing it in-house? Yeah, sure. Uh, so the reason why we have this outsourcing services is because each individual, like, you know, who is an installer, they know what is their core, right? It could be engineering, it could be sales, it could be, like, you know, customer support or whatever. You cannot do all in one. 
if you're trying to do that, you're just gonna like, you know, uh, pull yourself into uh, like, you know, a hole that is just going deep. You cannot manage all the things by yourself. But uh, when you just evaluate your own personality, like, like, you know, your organization's personality, what you're mostly focused upon. So for example, we have uh, companies who are doing uh, like, you know, providing you the leads, sales organizations, right? We have their organizations, uh, outsourcing organizations who are providing you the installation services, right? Then we have organizations who are providing the customer services, like, you know, support to your organization or your teams or your clients. So these are like, you know, few sectors of it. And then we have like, you know, this team who are, who's dedicatedly helping closely to the installer's team to get the job done as soon as possible once the deal is closed. So the customer doesn't change the mind. No other like, you know, organization is providing any better offer to change this uh, deal uh, and your deal is not getting snatched away. So yeah, uh, in this way, if you see, it's very important for any organization to have few things outsourced to focus more on the sales because revenue is the oxygen for any organization, right? Um, and once Henry Ford said right now, you need to have the right people do the right job. You don't have to do everything on your own. So you really need to you really need to understand that um, from installer or like you know entrepreneur point of view and you, you have to try it out before like you know um like you know just passing it away and uh, just to add like you know a couple of points here since we are having this arca 360 webinar and on this auspicious uh, like you know occasion we are providing three uh, permit services two free permit services and two free solar design proposals to all the attendees who are there till now uh, so that they can actually use our software and like, you know, order services and see how exactly uh, like, you know, the responses and the quality of the work is so that once it is, they are assured about the services, they can really like, you know, get into the, um, they can onboard with us. So it's totally up to them. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Would... Mike, any closing statements? The bottom line is, is, is that we're offering you the opportunity to put us to the test. We'll go, yeah. you give us, you give us a project, we'll do it. There'll be, you know, we're offering it at a no cost basis. Find out for yourself how easy it is to use the services and how competent they are, you know, it, and it'll change your mind. You know, I, 80% of the people were interested or very interested in trying to see how, how this could improve their operations. Well, here's your chance. We're not going to charge anything. You get to you get to work through it with our team and see exactly what you end up getting. I am confident that one, you're going to see a better a better work product, a more detailed work product, and a more complete work product that you can then take to the homeowner and also to the permitting department to get get going on your project. Awesome. Thank you so much, guys. Now we're going to open up to the uh, Q&A. So we got a couple of questions here. Uh, the first one is, uh, can we discuss pricing and uh, packages, please? So Arif, I'm going to allow you to take that one. Sure. Um, so it, like, you know, we have both residential and commercial that we work upon, right? So uh, the residential only PV, right? Uh, the permit sets uh, would cost you $119. Okay, that is one one nine dollars, and if you go with PV plus battery, it would cost you one hundred and forty nine dollars. And um, then we have P stamps that cost you like you know two hundred and forty nine dollars there. Uh, apart from this, if you're going for only order services for design proposals, uh, we charge you fifteen dollars for residential, and like you know commercials, we have different pricings depending upon the size of the projects. Okay, and even if you talk about the Permit sets for the commercial. We have like you know, it's subject to the size of the project. We we have a standard pricing, but right, it's not uh, easy for me to like you know, throw it right away, and you will be able to memorize it. So whenever we are connecting next next of the call personally, I would uh, give them the walkthrough and the like you know, the pricing sheet entirely so that they can have a look on it. Absolutely perfect. And then um, our next question here is. Um, what is the largest system that we can design with? Uh, designing a system. Are, so, are you asking about is how big? 
how big? Yeah, what is the largest system that we can design and assist with? So that sounds like a commercial project that we got. Yeah. So you can design like you know above two and three megawatts, um, up to through two three megawatts, and it would like you know do the job fine. Um, and if you're talking about order services, yeah, we can do that in both ways. If you're talking about you doing yourself and whether our software would be like you know able to handle it, yeah, you can do that up to three megawatts. Okay. 3.5, megawatts can do that. Awesome. Awesome. And we're also here to help. So if you guys have a designer and you're using our tool and you're stuck on something, or maybe you just want some feedback, our team is totally open to help you guys out. Um, so we're totally willing to answer and help you guys out. And, you know, we're, we'll, we can work with yeah. you guys on that. So because, um, you know, we do, have a couple more times. If there's anyone else who has any questions, feel free to raise your hand on the Zoom or type a question. We're going to take questions for a couple more minutes. Uh, I just wanted to add a, a point here, Joe. Um, just uh, from uh, installers' point of view, and like you know, the kind of experience I had uh, working with installers and listening to their problems. One of the most important problems they raised was like you know, not getting proper customer support, uh, which was. Um, like, you know, a really bad experience for any installer or like, you know, uh, maybe you're using any software or services and they're not providing the right customer support for the project that you're uh, committing. So let's say if you're committed your residential client that you'd be delivering this project within this many days and you have not got the, like, you know, permits or plans at all and so that you can start the project. So these are like, you know, some sort of uh, things that we don't have. We have a really, um, amazing customer support. You can just check it out on our G2 website, which is like, you know, how uh, they're helping, uh, which is like, you know, normally uh, voted by our uh, users across globe. And you can just check out uh, how the ratings are and accordingly you can decide what would be the, like, you know, what would be the best for your business. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Um, we got one more question in here. It says, do we need to sign up for subscriptions or just fees our project by project basis? You can do both. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. You, so we can do you, both. So if you want a subscription, because Arca three hundred and sixty does have its own CRM, or if you just want to send us projects, uh, we can definitely utilize for both. Arif, do you want to expand yeah. on that at all? Uh, yeah. So we have both plans, right? You know, uh, if you want to use the software only to order services, you can just opt for the CRM service only. That gives you the access to the software, and you can just start, like you know. Uh, ordering services, you don't have to worry about your um, like design things at all. Uh, then we have a software that, uh, I mean, plan which helps your um, design team. Let's say if there is any dedicated person who who knows like, you know, a little bit of, uh, who's familiar with some sort of design software, he can easily do the uh, designing within 10, 15 minutes if it's residential and max 15 minutes if right now it's commercial. So it's that easy to operate. And you can design unlimited residential and commercial just to like you know emphasize on that there are softwares out there who are limiting you to create an, a certain number of projects in a month whereas in our software stands out and provides you the unlimited access to so that you don't have any limitations and you can focus more on the sales part of the uh, business perfect awesome great well if there's nothing else uh we can go ahead and cut this off and then we can get back to our day so again thank you so much everyone who attended uh thank you mike and arif for taking time um you know jumping on our jumping on our call um you know we can go ahead and uh if you guys want to schedule something later on we'll definitely be reaching out to you to schedule the either time with myself or a reef and um for anyone who is in san diego mike and i will be at the del mar fair tomorrow so i look forward to meeting you guys there um awesome guys thank you so much and i hope everyone has a great yep. day yep. have a great day guys Bye bye